The story of a tornado, or in Sioux Falls' case this week, three tornadoes, doesn't just involve the weather disaster and resulting damage. At the heart of the story are the people impacted and what comes next. On the night beat, Kelloland's Dan Santella shows you how a gift flowered from the remnants of a Sioux Falls home. Good evening, Dan. Sammy Matt and Gina Dittman, since home in southern Sioux Falls was decimated by a tornado Tuesday night. It's now a total loss. However, what's salvageable is anything but that. You know, we're making lemonade out of the lemon we were dealt with this whole thing. Lemonade for people who need it. But with the house being a total loss, um, there's, there's some salvageable elements in here with some of the woodwork, the cabinets, doors, um, all that type of stuff that Habitat for Humanity can make really good use of. And so I'm all for that. And so if we can help other folks with our tragic situation, I'm all for it. The donated items will go to Habitat for Humanity of Greater Sioux Falls' Restore, which Alicia Grove manages. We take in donated uh, new and used goods and 100% of the profits that we make, so it's a store and we're open to the public, 100% of those profits um, fund our mission locally. What's it mean to Restore and to Habitat for Humanity to receive this donation? A lot. Um, so there are going to be so many families uh, in Sioux Falls, so not just the, the families that we partner with to build homes, um, but families that shop at our store. Um, maybe they can't traditionally afford, you know, buying a brand new cabinet set or things like that, appliances and whatnot. Uh, it's the least I could, that we could do, the very least. With what everybody has done for us, it's the least we could do. For a closer look at what Habitat for Humanity of Greater Sioux Falls does, check out this story at kelland.com, where we'll include a link to their website.